so my name's Becky. I work for Patagonia here in the UK. Um, we have brought our worn wear van with us um, to the Friends of the Earth Base Camp Festival. Um, the idea of worn wear is that it encourages people to repair their clothing um, and think about what they're doing with their clothes um, rather than just throwing them away. So you might be able to hear in the background our sewing machine clanking away. Um, essentially the van has a sewing machine in the back and we have a wonderful seamstress called Martina who comes around with us. Um, and we encourage people to bring their, their clothing, um, mainly outdoor gear is, is usually what we get. Um, and it can be anything from a broken zipper to a patch. I've seen Martina repair an entire burnt out collar of a, of a jacket, got caught on a candle flame um, and went up and Martina managed to rebuild it. So despite the fact it's a sewing machine in the back of a van, there's, a, there's an awful lot you can do. Um, and most people go away super happy with it and it means it's a few less items of clothing that have gone to, gone to the landfill and been thrown away. They carry on being loved and taking on more adventures and, and creating more, more stories. And it started off in the, in the States a couple of years ago and it's just massively popular there. And the more we do it, the more we see people coming up to us. And like you'll see on the van today, we've, we're unfortunately like completely full because our resources, we've only got one, one seamstress. Um, so, but it's great that in a way we hate turning people away, but it's great to ha have to do it because it means that more and more people are coming up to us and engaging with us and talking about fixing their gear and they get really like into it and they want to they want us to do it um, but it's also great to be able to educate people in, and help them think about you know if it's just a, a hole in your jacket you can tape it up with gaffer tape or that like, you can hand stitch it yourself it doesn't have to be perfect and it kind of is a bit of a memory when you when you have that so yeah it's it's really good fun and we, we really enjoy it. It's hard work but we really enjoy it and talking to people. It's, it's difficult sometimes to see the optimism but I think even just things like this, events like this and seeing so many people who do care about the environment, who do want to make a change, who believe that change is possible as well. Um, I, was, I was just saying that I was, I've been in our Amsterdam office this week um, with Yvonne and his wife Melinda and some of our activists and talking to them and hearing what they have to say and seeing how passionate people are about trying to make a change to the environment, that's that's what gives me optimism. Putting yourself in this situation where you meet people who, it's it's their life and it, it centers, like everything they do centers around trying to make this change. There are some really big voices who apparently don't believe in making the change and don't want things to be different or don't believe that there is even a problem in the first place but there's a few big voices but then there's lots of smaller voices and hopefully together they can they can make the change and make people stand up and sit sit up and listen sorry um and i i think that's what gives me a lot of hope and i think together enough people can can make their voices heard and i think a lot more people um, are becoming more conscious of it in, in general. So from my point of view, from working for this company, when people speak to me about it and they ask me about the brand, they'll be like, oh yeah, I've heard about this. And I've, you know, because of that, I've, I've, I now do this differently. And slowly that all, that all adds up. And it, it is a big job, but I'd like to think that it could be, it could be possible. Is that okay? <laughs> no, it's not too bad. <laughs>